Trying to snoop their nose up and act like they've never been nowhere. Like they never, who do you think? God's qualified. He's qualifying the rejected. That's why God said, I love those that like to talk about you. That's what do you think God did to Israel when the Assyrian army came up against them? When the Assyrian army, they began to laugh at the calamity of the children of Israel. But one thing God hates is when you start laughing at his children. When you start laughing at people that's in the mess. He said, that's all right, keep on laughing. Because the way you're laughing at, you get ready to need. The way you're laughing at, I get ready to bring them out right in your face. You know why God didn't kill the people that talked about you? Because he wanted to make sure they see how he get ready to show himself. You know why you got to preach to people that don't like you? You all need that. I feel like preaching in here. You know why? He said, I ain't going to let them die until they see my hand upon your life. That's why I got to live because they got to watch. The naysayers got to watch. The evil workers got to watch. So I can show them that no weapon that's formed against you shall be able to prosper. I got to show them that many may be out of afflictions. I want to preach to a house in here, but the Lord's going to live by them all. High five somebody and tell them you get ready to come out just as sure as they're laughing in your face. Keep on laughing. Keep on talking about it. Go ahead and put it on social media. Go ahead and put it on Snapchat. But why you got a Snapchat on my past? God said you might as well get ready. Because you're going to have to video my future. You just had a chat. Oh, God. I told you I feel like preaching. We're going to do a whole documentary on me. I'm trying to figure out how in the world were you able to bounce back? How in the world were you able to stay strong? How in the world? Here it is. How in the world? Why couldn't I kill you? I couldn't kill you. God, I got a Jane. Don't worry about nothing. Like you can't kill what God want to keep alive. Ooh, go ahead. That's good. That's good. Oh God. Am I in the right house in here? Am I in the right house? So what? See, people kill me. They want to do documentation. They want to dock who they consider to be qualified. God said, I ain't give that to you. I don't give you the right. Because if I gave the rights to you, you'll start killing who I want to keep alive. And you'll start keeping alive who I want to keep. And God said, you ain't got to worry. Y'all don't want to talk to me. You one day when people was praying. You one day when people was crying. Don't judge people about their current condition. Because they serve current state. It's not their final end. World is the beginning of the thing. But I just need you. I need a house in here that's ready for the spirit of revival. To high five somebody and tell them, say, neighbor, your ladder will be greater than your past. Say, get ready. Because on this Father's Day, the Heavenly Father said, I'm getting ready to take off the roof and show myself strong. Oh, God. I got to get through this. I got to get through this. I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. Oh, oh my God. So, so he's, he's, Jesus have mercy. He's a 120 year old leader. He got, he got to talk to. He got to talk to. Not his generation. Oh God. I got to talk to his generation. Isn't it amazing that the people that walk with you in your mess don't want to hear you when you get your ministry? Oh, y'all too quiet. Oh God. Isn't it amazing that long as you was down space partner, they was okay with you. But the moment you start coming up, they start saying, you think you bougie. You think you all that. How in the world the people I cry with don't want to see me happy? How in the world the people that I shed tears with, people I broke bread with, y'all, I, I might as well get ready and open up my mouth in here today. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, everybody, they don't like your come up. Say, but tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you've been down too long to stay down there. Get out of your lonely body because they forgot to come all the way to Saul's house. Lucky like did my fellowship. He said, get up out of there. There's a seat for you at the table. Get out of that place. Get out of that room. I need a church in here to give God a praise in this house to say I'm ready to get out of this low place. Uh, my friend, here's what happened, my friend. 
So here it is. He got to speak to a generation that don't want to hear him. We done did the same thing. But I'm trying to tell you that he don't want to just give us deliverance. He want to give us expansion. He don't need me just coming out of sin. I need months, something to show for that I'm out of sin. Because if you had money in sin, you don't need money when you get in God. Y'all don't want to talk to me. If you ever sold dope, if you ever went in the club, give me something more. It just houses and cars. Stop singing to me every week about the telephone disconnect and you're waiting on a paycheck. Give me a word that tells me that greed is seed that's within me. That he didn't work. Give me a word that tells me many other afflictions of the righteous. But God is delivered out of them. Give me a word that tells me God before me. He's more than a word against me. That thought I planned a day. I preach back. You don't even understand. God said, I'm raising up for people that say, look, I want more. I want more. More than my bills paid. More than a house. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. More of your glory. More of your strength. Say hallelujah. 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 You got to get more. My God. 